Hey guys, Dropship Tyler here, and there's a bunch of questions recently that I've seen in forums, on YouTube channels, you know, other things that I look at that where there's a bunch of people asking questions about dropshipping. And one of the biggest debates is what is the best cashback website. And I wanted to do a video and give you guys my opinion and just tell you some of the reasons why it is the best cashback website for me. The reason the available cashback is so low is because I just found out about Mr. Rebates about three months ago, and it takes 90 days from the time of your of your purchase to go from pending to available cashback, and that's standard on all cashback websites. A lot of it is to do with returns, or you know they want to make sure it's not a fraudulent transaction, and they need to make sure they're getting their money from Amazon before they pay you for the purchase. And as you can see here, if I click on available cashback, you can see that everything now that is in that three month period, that 90 day period is going from the pending to the actual available cashback. Uh, and there's my, the free $5 that, you know, you get for your first purchase bonus. So if you sign up with the link below in the description, you automatically start off with a free $5. And then once you get ten dollars of available cash back so five plus your five dollar first purchase bonus yeah you just get five dollars for free so use that link in the description but anyway let's get back into it and i want to tell you guys exactly what i've talked to mr rebates about and my concerns and what they've told me so if you go to the terms and conditions of mr rebates you can see here that any order that is deemed high volume slash reseller order as determined by the merchant's sole discretion so basically what they're trying to say is that if the merchant says that you are a drop shipper or you know, you're doing a too high a volume for it to qualify, then they're saying that the merchant has the right not to um, pay them and then you won't get paid as well. So I asked them about this here and they told me that as long as the merchant pays them, they pay us. And that's not true with a lot of cashback websites. It's it's true with Mr. Rebates, but it's not true with Ebates or some of the other ones because they'll shut down your account unexpectedly. I've had no issues on top cashback for my Walmart purchases, but I've never tried to use them for Amazon, and I've heard that people get their accounts shut down from top cashback and Ebates. I mean, me personally, I got an Ebates account shut down um, after just a few days of doing orders on it. So clearly Ebates does not like drop shippers. But when I talked to Mr. Rebates and reached out to them, um, like I said, they told me as long as the merchant pays them, they're going to pay you. So you don't have to worry about your account getting suspended on Mr. Rebates so far from what I've talked to them about and from what I've seen. I have not heard a single person get their account shut down from Mr. Rebates. So if anybody has, please leave that in the comments below. And I just kind of want to know the reasons why if, if that happened. But again, like I said, I haven't heard of a single person getting their account shut down on Mr. Rebates. So one of the cool things that I like about Mr. Rebates is that it sends you an email every single time you get a cashback confirmation. So one thing with the Walmart purchases, it actually tells you the order ID so if you see here, you can see the order number, the amount, the cashback rate, and the cashback amount. So if any transactions are missing from Walmart, like for example, in my series of the $0 investment eBay dropshipping business, I record every single order number and I go back and I make sure Mr. Rebates has confirmed the transaction. I don't necessarily always go through my emails, but it is easiest to go through the emails to look at them and see the order number. Um, if you want to put a filter on there and just, you know, any one that has the subject cashback rebate confirmation Walmart and then compare in your spreadsheet and put confirmed or not confirmed. And then you can go back to Mr. Rebates and actually if you go to if you go to the help and you go to contact us, you can actually report missing cashback here um, or you can post incorrect cashback if it posted incorrectly. Since it's a flat rate of 2%, I doubt that's going to happen very much on Walmart, but it could happen if something's miscategorized. If you're really organized and you know, you're know you tracking every category that each purchase is in, but I doubt I doubt you're doing that. So just for the missing cash back, that, those would be the ones that you'd want to report You know, if you have a spreadsheet with all of your Walmart orders and you don't see that on the emails. 
or in here you can just go back and report that and mr rebates will get that transaction onto your pending cashback so yeah that's one of the features i really like is the fact that you can actually see the order numbers with top cashback you actually do not have that option of seeing the order number of what it came from so you're gonna have a difficult time trying to uh, find out if you're missing cashback or not or not just that, but which ones specifically are missing. Another cool thing that I like, obviously you guys that watch my channel frequently know that I'm big on the Sale Freaks software. And the cool thing about Sale Freaks is that it automatically goes through Mr. Rebates when you are purchasing an item. So you're getting that cash back accrued into that account. There's no way that I could go to Mr. Rebates, click on a button and go to Amazon and purchase the item 200 times a day. Obviously that would take way too long. So the only way to actually use a cashback website is with it integrated into sale freaks. So I go to edit and you can see here that the different sites it supports are be frugal and Mr. Rebates. Be frugal is another one that I actually had some trouble with where they shut, shut down my account early on. Like I said, no issues with Mr. Rebates. Haven't heard of a single issue from anybody with it, but yeah, basically all you do is enter your username, your password, and then Sale Freaks is automatically going to go through and click the Mr. Rebates button for Amazon and then buy the product and then your cashback is going to be tracked back to your Mr. Rebates. Really cool feature. Um, like I said, I mean, I've, I've made, as you can see, about $300 a month uh, with just adding Mr. Rebates. So I'm curious to see once I start scaling up even more how Mr. Rebates will act and I will definitely keep you guys posted. But for now, you know, this is the information that I'm going off of. So for, for me right now, my personal opinion is Mr. Rebates is the best cashback website out there. It's also interesting that a lot of people actually don't know what Mr. Rebates is or have never heard of it before, probably now. But honestly, I wish I had found out about it earlier. Um, I would have avoided, you know, the whole e Ebates and Be Frugal fiasco of them closing down my accounts for being a reseller. Because um, even if you don't get paid by Amazon, like I said, they're not going to close down your accounts. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've ever had the question of which cashback website you should use, now maybe that question is answered. If you're interested in learning more about the way that I dropship, or just if you're new to dropshipping and want to know more about it in general, get the free ebook on my website. It's ecomscholars.com. And I have an ebook there called e eBay Dropshipping Explained. If you find that book interesting and you want to learn more about the strategy that I implement now with all three of those basic strategies combined into one, I highly recommend you get the course, the automated eBay dropshipping blueprint. It's going to teach you everything you need to know about creating an automated dropshipping business using the sale freak software. Thanks for watching guys. And I hope you'll check out my series that I have going on on the zero investment eBay dropshipping business. And also I have a series on Excel. The most recent one I did was on pivot tables. I put that one out yesterday. I'll put a link in the description for that. I highly recommend you take a look at it. It shows you everything that you need to know if you want to analyze your PayPal transactions quickly. Just a lot of really good value in it. And I know that it might be boring because it's more of like a technical analytical thing, but it's necessary if you want to learn how to run a eBay dropshipping business the way that I do. I hope you'll subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And thanks for watching.